seeing like I had to come I had to come with grips grip grips. I say grips? Yeah, grips. Come with grips with that the first four years learning learning about uh learning about this. Cause it's uh very heartbreaking when you first what I what how I learned was I hated white people first. Me hating white people made me go learn about their history first. And see why why the fuck y'all do this to us. And so I learned that first. So my hatred for them came first. I didn't go. I didn't. I didn't want to learn black history first and then hate them. I I just hated them off the rip. Just, just did not like them. But then when I start reading and start getting to how the fuck we how to we become slaves and shit. How the hell them niggas bamboozled us. That's when that 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 anger comes in to your own people. Like how the hell not to as of right now, but then in the past. So you look at about the past, that past still affects you as of right now because now it's affecting us as of right now. So you have to look out, look out, look at what's going on, see why black people don't coincide with each other because it happened in the past. That shit's heartbreaking when you learn about Moors enslaving Africans and uh, selling them to Spaniards and you find out then the uh, King, King, not King Tut, uh, the Zulu, uh, uh, King Zulu. He was uh, allegedly selling uh, his people, f- selling his uh, people to uh, to the Europeans and shit. But it comes, to- but at the same exact time, like Chad, Chad would just say, it was a business. He didn't know at the time. A lot of the kings. A- another thing, teachers and a lot of people won't say about this. Kings, a lot of kings know- back then did not know what was going on in America at all. Like they didn't know what was going on. They thought really. They were using black people how they were using black people. We were using you for workers. That's what you are. We took your land. That's what you are at this point. You are a worker. They didn't know they were actually raping them, beating them, killing them, doing all that horrific shit to them until one of these Africans were able to come back and tell them, like, hey, bro, it's not cracking like how they were telling us because the white people are coming to Africa and telling them, we have this. If you give us this, We'll bring back your people after our country is good, because this is what this is what white people are learning from Africans from the outer eye is okay. This is what you guys do. You guys come into other people's land and take their land, but you still let them live. Okay, let's do the same exact thing. We're gonna go over here, take your people, but we're not. We don't need to tell you shit. That's what they did. But when they found out how they was doing it, that's when the wars start happening. The wars between the Zulu nation. You have war between the in Ethiopia and Ghana. You have all the wars and. And even in, uh, I think in Egypt too, when they find out that uh, what white people are actually doing this shit, they won't they won't tell you, they won't tell you the hundred percent truth. Cause that's where it got me. I'm thinking we were just selling each other. Oh yeah, you take yep. I'm like, man, you were selling us to death, but you keep actually keep going down the line. You come to find out they didn't shit. We didn't know. So you taking your, it's like somebody, it's your kid, uh, your kid going to school. You don't know what your kid doing in school until somebody come back and tell you. I'm not saying what they were selling them to schools. I'm saying as in just, uh, you don't know what's going on until somebody come back and tell your ass. But it was too late at that point. It's already damn near hundreds. I'm not, I don't want to say hundreds. It's decades down the line at that point. It's all more sad when you come to find out there's only a handful of white people ever doing it. <clears throat> That's a fucked up. It's been a fucked up, uh, some fucked up years. People haven't even read more than two percent or three percent of what was actually went on. Just imagine if we knew like twenty percent of what they actually went on. On the way, that shit gonna happen. We ain't go to the, go to the Senate, go to Congress, they gonna blow up all that shit. You know for a fact they got all them files somewhere. They have, they have all those, all those, all those documents of slaves. They still have to this day. Other people don't know. Because every slave is documented. They had to write down 
what that slave does, what that slave will do, what, what number that slave is, and what name. All that shit is documented, like a receipt. That's the other way we can find out where the hell we come from. Because they had to put where, okay, we got this, we got these group of Africans from this from this uh, clan, from this country, from this from culture, from whatever. Eventually, motherfuckers, motherfuckers are gonna realize. Eventually, probably gonna happen in our lifetime now. Hopefully, it does. <laughs>